What is up, guys? <clears throat> what is up, guys? Crispy Customs here again. Um, sorry for the long upload. Uh, I've been going through a lot of shit right now. Um, putting a, doing a lot of work and shit. So I really haven't had time to do any more videos. So sorry for that. But I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting back into the groove. But uh, today I'm gonna show you how to um, dye patent leather, not paint it, like you saw in my Legend Blue video from a lot of months ago i don't know how many months ago that video has over 50k views which i am proud of um that's the first time that ever happened to me but uh hopefully this video will also get um 50k views plus for what i'm about uh, what i'm about to show you so i've been done i did a couple of testing right here already but if you haven't heard already this is how to dye patent leather not paint it you can see you can see the patent leather these are sunrise sun slash sunset slash band soul or whatever you want to call them same shit um these are for a custom what i'm gonna do or already did it or did it on one shoe i'm doing this the same day as i just finished here's, here's a little sneak peek just real quick that's a sneak peek so to get started what you're gonna need is one no about four things you're gonna need a bottle or well, any any kind of dye that you want to dye uh, your patent leather um this is the only thing that i know it only works on white patent leather such as legend, legend blue 11s or this kind of patent leather or any type of white patent leather um what you want to use is leather dye only as you can see right here, it's kind of pinkish, right here, because I use I try to use red suede dye, and red suede dye does not work. It will leave you with this. So do not use any kind of suede dye because it is not strong enough to penetrate that plastic. What you're gonna want to use is leather dye, and right here I have some ox blood leather dye, which is basically a dark red. Um, or light red it depends kind of how you use it or whatever so get your leather dye any dye you want um you can use right here i have blue leather dye if i wanted to make, if i wanted to make the uh, patent leather blue um i have black dye or basically any, any kind of leather dye just repeating myself just so you guys get that through your head you need leather dye only so right here if i have some ox blood right so and then you want a paintbrush, an old paintbrush that you don't want. And I'm trying to find that right now. And so far I can't find it. I think I found it. Nope, I did not find it. Okay, I found it. So this is the paintbrush that I used. And I when I'm when I'm what I mean by paintbrush, you need like a like a good paintbrush. You can see this is a shitty ass paintbrush. This is like over a year old, I would, where I can't really focus on it, but whatever. So you want to get a good paintbrush that you don't really care about, care about, or spare one. Um, you don't want to level out your uh, patent leather how you want it. Um, then you do not need anything else except just for the leather dye. Uh, if, it's kind of like the process of how if you use to um, dye soles, dye translucent soles, but in in this one you don't need the you don't need the volume forty or volume fifty or soul bright whatever you need. You do not need any of those. You just need pure leather dye. Um, dip your paintbrush in in the leather dye, and then it's gonna either be very runny, depends how you dipped it, or it's gonna be nice and smooth. All right, uh, so you want to get your dye, get ready to paint it. Um, first, if you want to, you don't have to, um, but if you just want to get some a cotton swab and some acetone, just wipe down this patent leather if you want to, you can. But I'm just going to go ahead and go paint it. As you can see, it's like dark. You don't want to make this even. I'm doing this all red anyway, so... It doesn't matter if I get it on this white midsole, but you can see you're gonna make it even. Otherwise, you're gonna see some paint strokes in it. And you see when it starts to turn pinkish, you wanna get some more, and then just go over it again. 
It doesn't matter if I get it on the middle because I'm going to do things in that red anyways for the custom I'm doing coming up. So you can see that the die, when you when you experience this or when you do this, you can see that the die either dries very quickly and very nice, but you can see some strokes or some dark spots. What you want to do is get your uh, heat gun. I'm going to do this off beat. All right, I just hit it with my heat gun. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like kind of like matted or not as shiny as anymore. That's because there's like a thin coat of dye on the surface. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get uh, some cotton rounds or cotton balls or cotton swabs or uh, whatever, anything cotton or anything that can hold acetone. Basically, this is like the same process as uh, dyeing your soles. You want to get your acetone, wipe it down. As you can see, it's, it turns lighter. That's just taking off the surface. Um, you're gonna have to do multiple coats of this to get the desired color or desired uh, shade of red you want. It will also turn um, it will turn the laces darker because that you can't get you can't acetone that off. So that's kind of like a downside. But see, there's like some white light spots right there that you can cover up later on when when you keep doing coats. So for the second coat, after the acetone is dry, get another coat and just go at it again. As you can see, it's kind of a darker this time, but that's okay. Just go at it, kind of hit the camera. Um, if you disapprove of this method, then go screw yourself. Just kidding. But for real, go screw yourself. Because I have not seen anybody um, do this before. I've never seen anybody dye patent leather or anything. So I know I know I've painted patent leather before on the Legend Blues, but um, I've never seen anybody dye patent leather and actually make it come out shiny without actually having to paint it or make it glossy again. And I can almost 50% guarantee you that this will come out with great results. Look at me sounding like a damn doctor. Buy now and get great results. So once you have that done, just, you know it's gonna see like a lot of brush strokes right there. Bam, like that. Um, let that dry, get your blood hair dryer or um, heat gun. I just hit it with the heat gun. Then you wanna get your acetone, wipe that side down. See it turns light from the extra dye that it didn't seep through. And then you want to do the other side. And you can see this time, this side is very, very clear, very um, nice and uniform. And I'm getting shady because this side won't, won't doesn't want to dye. And I can feel it right here that's rough. So I guess there's some damage right there. Um, I'll have to learn how to fix that or how to get around that. But, uh, whatever, so you know, um, it's kind of uneven, it's like light right here and dark right here. It's because I didn't acetone the midsole and the, the, uh, the, the factory finish is getting on the patent leather, so I'm going to give it one more wipe down, I'm trying to avoid the midsole. And sorry guys if I'm going through this very fast, you can always re um, watch this again or slow down the video if you're on the um, computer or whatever, I guess. I don't know if my, how my voice is going to sound, but yeah, so uh, you know just get everything down, make sure it's nice and good, and then give it at least one more coat, I need one more coat because this is how it's going to come out, well, that's how I need it to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and check how it looks. Alright, for the shoe that I'm making, I need one more coat, at least one or two more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And you can, after this is all done, after you let it cure, you can um, run it under hot water to see if it's stuck. And I can, I have not, um, I haven't actually stuck it under hot water yet. But I'm going to in the future when I'm all done to do a durability test. Um, but yeah, hopefully this comes out good for everybody else. Any, anybody who's starting 
or anybody who didn't never know about this or somebody who already knew about this but never made a video about it because so far I'm the only person at my acknowledgement I'm the only person who has done this before so on the last coat that you do since this is the very important last coat you need it to let it sit for at least five to ten minutes so I can actually hit in and seep um, seep through the plastic so I'm gonna let that sit then heat it hit it with my heat gun and probably give it one more coat to to ensure it's thick not thick but a uh, dark dark red because when after the acetone it's going to come out light red so I'm gonna g give it one more coat um, if there's people cringing of my sloppy job sorry I'm gonna paint the whole shoe red and gray and whatever anyways um, you guys will see a video on that custom soon so yeah let that sit for at least five to ten minutes all right so they've been sitting for a while actually more than 10 minutes um hopefully that little spot that I didn't want to get covered up actually covered up this time so by wiping down get your acetone and put more just wipe it down yes the right right color that i need so far it looks so good um just gonna give it a nice long so you can see it kind of kind of kind of kind of covered up but that's good enough for me hopefully um be good enough for the other dude the owner um damn i need to refill my acetone so once you do that you just want to give it do the other side hold Alright, so I finally have some acetone back. Wipe it down, wipe it on the edges, wipe it around everywhere. And this is basically how you dye your patent leather, guys. Um, so it's nice, nice and even. Wipe it down more. Um, Oh shit, so see, so you see, I kind of got it white because the uh, mix of it, I think, so. But this, this method will keep your patent leather shiny if you acetone it down. Um, uh, so far, I haven't had any problems except for like uh, some spots on not doing their job or whatever. But so far, this has been, I've been getting good results with this. Um, I guess this side is a little bit darker than the other side, so I'm gonna just keep wiping it down. Um, this is like the really only, only the only time when you can uh, try to lighten it up if the color was too dark. Uh, just keep rubbing it with uh, acetone, and it'll kind of lighten up. But after after you acetone it and then you heat set it with the heat gun, then it's almost impossible to get it back. So yeah, so yeah. Um, sorry if it looks all sloppy. I'm just gonna paint it. I'm painting them anyways. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I'll give you a little quick uh, look at it. You can see, see it's still, still clear. You can still see the patent leather. Um, I just need to clean them up to get it shiny again. And this side is kind of still light. I need to do another coat on here maybe. But yeah, I mean. No paint. Okay, that, yeah, that's kind of like a good angle right there. No paint. Just pure dye. Nothing else. Dye, acetone, and... Um, what else? Dye, acetone, cotton swabs or whatever, cotton balls, and a paintbrush. That's all you need. Thanks, you guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm um, sorry for not uploading for a while. Um... But yeah, hopefully this is a new way of people dying stuff. I don't know if this is my uh, first time. I don't know if anybody's done this before or whatever. But yeah, uh, thanks you guys.